if there's anyone who has not been thanked by Cuba, please just, <laughs> if you give me your names, he's waiting backstage. <laughs> what a great moment. Now to present the award for Best Art Direction, the star of Speed and Speed 2, the only person in this room who's actually ever ridden on an L.A. City bus. <laughs> Please welcome Sandra Bullock. Movies are illustrated dreams, and to paraphrase another award winner, the Grammys, Hillary Rodham Clinton, it takes a village to build a dream. And when you see the credits at the end of the movie, you realize just how vast a village it took to build that dream from the blueprints drawn by the art director. Theirs is a vital discipline that puts the substance in the make-believe we call the movies. And the nominees for achievement in art direction are... Bo Welsh captured Miami Beach's razzle and dazzle in The Birdcage with set decoration by Cheryl Karasik. Stuart Craig brought back the mystique of Cairo in the 1940s to his art direction for The English Patient. Set decoration was by Stephanie McMillan. Brian Morris evoked the passion and dimension of Argentina and its people in his work for Evita with set decoration by Philippe Toulour. Tim Harvey's scholarly rendering of the sets for Hamlet brought added beauty to the Bard's masterwork. Catherine Martin, working with set decoration by Bridget Brock, filled William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet with dark tragedy and colorful romance. And the Oscar goes to... Stuart Craig for The English Patient, set direction by Stephanie McMillan. The nationality of this film is very complicated, but uh, it was made in Italy and Tunisia, and uh, the painted frescoes, there they painted the frescoes and bulldozed the sand dunes. Aurelio Crignola made it all happen, and our thanks to him and to you, the Academy, the entire team, thank you. And Saul and Anthony. Saul and Anthony. And Saul and Anthony, thank you.